Hey, welcome back everybody. If you're new to the channel, hit that uh, like and uh, subscribe and uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. But today we're gonna be doing the $1.25 creme or cream, not sure how you pronounce it, at Walmart. We trying these out today. Uh, like I said, $1.25, it's like $1.32 with tax for each pack. There's only five in there, but uh, still at that price, um, you could buy quite a few packs at the same price as a regular uh, plastic um, 10 pack. So I got the creature baits and then I got the stick baits um, and I got both of them in green pumpkin. So uh, bluebird skies today. So we're gonna be giving them a shot and seeing if we get some fish on the boat. So hopefully you stay tuned and uh, we have a little bit of luck. We'll have to see though. All right guys, so we're gonna be starting out. Got out of the wind as much as I could. Got a little bit of weeds growing up now. And uh, I'm gonna be starting out with my uh, six foot uh, medium uh, Shimano Celis rod and a Fluger, I think it's a 30 series, uh, just spinning spinning reel, Fluger President. And then I got 20 pound braid, uh, double uni, and 10 pound fluorocarbon. And then I just hooked up the little creature bait, which I've never fished before actually. I've never fished this style plastic before, believe it or not. And I just got it hooked up as a, a weightless, uh, weightless Texas rig. So I'll try this out first, maybe switch it up and uh, maybe try some wacky and uh, um, small child rig style with a little weight at the bottom see what see what they like i'm not sure what the fish are doing yet they could be uh still spawning quite a bit or they could be getting finished finishing up with the spawning phase but i know they were spawning like i said two about two weeks ago they were still spawning out here so uh starting out on the smaller lake first and uh maybe we'll move over to the bigger one if uh we don't have any luck over here so all right guys we're gonna switch over to a little stick bait here might come back to the, the creature bait but just uh got my little net head here and then basically hook it up backwards we call it a small child rig looks goofy but it works let's see if it works now grabbing a bunch of weeds with that creature bait It's blowing like crazy as soon as I turn. Finally, they are in here. It's not a bad one either. <sighs> Your mouth all red. Why are you bleeding so much? How's that for me? Ugh. Oh, he's bleeding. A lot. Oh, I think we're good. Oh, a little bloody, but finally found one on the, I don't know why he's bleeding like that, but I'm gonna let him go. Quick release. I hooked him right in the lip. It's weird, but that's one for the the little cream or creme, whatever you want to call it. Still intact, pretty good. Not bad for 20, a little over 25 cents a piece. Not bad. I'm gonna rig it back up and uh, let's see how many fish we can catch off this. Hopefully there's some more. Yeah, I don't know why he's bleeding like that. It's so weird, but I'm gonna rig it back up and uh, get it back out there. These little buggers are. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Thank you. 
stay on. Stay down. Get in the boat. There we go. They are definitely a little bit deeper, I think, today. Woo! Number two in the same uh, cream, creme, whatever you want to call it. Still holding up. Gonna have to re-rig it, but it's pretty normal. Average size. Number two. Let's see if we can uh, get number three on this little guy. So there's like a little point right here. A lot of weeds. So I was kind of fishing this little weed line here. Nothing. Uh, but had one over there and then I went deeper. This kind of gradually declines into a deeper spot and got a little nibble. So let's see if there's any more out deep. They may be done spawning and uh, went out deep to recuperate a little bit. So hopefully this nice little slow, easy meal will get them to bite. So we'll have to see. But get back out there. Number three on the, the creme. These are holding up pretty good, actually. Just another little guy. Holding up pretty good. But they are definitely, might be onto something here. Now, if it wasn't so windy, it'd be in really good shape. But let's see if we can get another one out there. Like, literally, I cast like 15 feet in front of me right here. It's just a gradual drop off, and there's not a lot of weeds and more of a sandy gravel bottom right here. So. Tie that uh, creature bag bait back on just to see if I can. Come on. They're getting smaller though. We're going the wrong wrong way. But I'm gonna keep throwing this around. It's getting pretty chewed up now. Man, this wind sucks. But I think I can get at least one more for sure. Even if I re. Uh, Reposition the hook on the plastic. I can get through here. That's what I hate. Yeah. All... Oh, I lost my weight too. Son of a son of a gun. Well, I don't have any more weights either. Well, that stinks. Well, let's see if we can do a weightless. I have any more weights. I'm gonna check and see if I have something I can use as a weight, but I don't think so. All right, guys, this is pretty banged up, so I think a weight would just fall right out of it anyway. And all I got is Ned Ned hooks. I'd use one if the bait was new and it could actually stay in there for a while. But I'm gonna try a weightless, see what happens. If not, I can always switch over to a uh, like a rugby rugby head. But they're definitely on the bottom. I don't know if it's gonna be able to. It's gonna fall pretty slow. I don't know 
this is gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> They're just little guys though, man. What the heck? You can throw a wacky, wacky setup on here. See if we can get five on one. Just for just for fun. They're hiding out here, there's no very big. Big though. Is that five? Oh. All right, I'm gonna switch over to a creature. I just want to catch one on a creature bait. They're not big, but they're out there. You know, this could be the same same fish. <laughs> this is pretty small. But five fish on one. Was it 25 cents? Not bad. These hold up pretty well, I will say. Not too bad. Probably still use that again. Actually hook it up the right way, you could probably use it. But let me save it. But I wanna try a creature bait. If they're hitting like that. Just wish it wasn't so windy. I might have to go a little bit further that way and cast the opposite direction. But I'm gonna rig this up and see if we can get one on here. Alright guys, got a little creature bait on here now. I will say the plastic on the creature bait does not isn't as durable as the stick bait, so see if we can get one on here. There's one. Ah. It's just little guys, holy cow. Ah. All right, first fish on a creature bait. Right in the eyeball. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Right in the eyeball. Let's see if we can get this out fast. There we go. You'll be all right. First fish on a creature bait. Little guys, little, little fish. There's gotta be a big one down there, right? We're about to. Yeah, see, it's already tearing through the head. It tore through the head before I even got a fish on it. It's already there, I see. Well, we're still gonna, still gonna use it. Let's get it back out there. Yeah, they're like right in front of me.
Not your honor. Another little guy. Barely felt him on there. Where are all the biggins? These are all little males going going around here. I might try try a few more casts with this guy. And I might switch to something else. I don't know. The thing about these rugby jigs are the space in between the the weight and the little curved end. It's pretty small. I keep forgetting that. Oh, I'm gonna re-rig this and I'll be back. Let me know you're on there, dude. That's a good one. Might be the fish of the day right here. Maybe not. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Got the biggest of the day, I think. And you probably swallowed that thing, didn't you? Sure did. I think it's manageable, maybe. That fish number uh, six, I think? I had no clue you were on here, dude. Oh yeah, we gut hooked him a little bit, but I think we can get him out, maybe. All right, guys, so I just let her go, and uh, she went down, so hopefully she stays down. I think she should be okay. I mean, I didn't damage the gills very much, but I didn't even know it was on there, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, that was that number six. Same worm, same plastic, been using all day, and I'm still going to keep using it, so maybe we can get another one on it. We'll have to wait and see, though. but I think I can get one more on this bad boy. There's something hiding over here. It looked like it was moving. Maybe I was moving. I can't say there's something out there. What the heck was that? Oh, you came off. Knew there'd be something hiding under there. That was weird. <laughs> oh, came off again. Good hooks that too. Man, what's happening here? Two in a row I missed. Well, let's see if there's more over here. There's some over here. Do it 
together. Stay high, stay down. Stay high. Let me swing the whippy now. Yeah. I need the net for this one, I think he's just a fighter. Here too, huh? What number eight on the crim? Not bad. Not bad. What about two pounds, maybe. See you later, dude. All right. Still hitting this worm. Still hitting the worm. <laughs> I might have to cut a little bit more off, but I'm gonna try and do it like this. See, see if we can get 10 fish on this one one worm, then I'll call it a day. They're hiding over here, that's for sure. All right, guys, I think it's finally time. Uh, was it eight or nine fish? Should be more. Lost a few of them, and one worm, one 25 cent piece of plastic. So, got a brand new one. Gonna be my uh, fourth one in the pack. <laughs> spot but uh, every it seems like every time I move to a different spot there's there's fish sitting there so but we'll have to see if there's a few more around here um, but yeah I'm gonna put this on new worm all right guys well I'm gonna pack it in for the day but uh got on quite a few fish today uh, with the the cream or creme, however you want to pronounce it, baits for a dollar twenty-five. We had the little creature bait, which I went through two of those, I think. And I think I lost one too, so I got two left. And then we had this was a little bit more durable, the little five-inch stick Senko style bait. The real soft, rubbery plastic. So, um, but they're pretty durable. I think I caught like ten fish on the one, so uh, not too bad. I got it right here, pretty chewed up but caught quite a few fish for a dollar 20 25 cents i guess you could say uh but um yeah so i don't know go check them out if you want if you're on a budget or don't have a lot of money but you want to catch some some fish on uh some plastics uh give it a shot uh, i'm actually pretty impressed with the price of it i'm pretty cheap when it comes to there's so many plastics out there um like i said i've never bought any sankos before in my life Spending seven bucks for, for 10 of these guys is pretty ridiculous when you can catch fish on pretty much any of them. But uh, yeah, so check them out if you want. Give it a try. Worked pretty well. But uh, I'm going to end the video here and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hit that subscribe button. Uh, maybe put a like in there and uh, leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, so we will see you guys uh, on the next one. So stay tuned.